Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Throwback Thursday. Today we're going back to 2006 and opening this hobby box of 2006 Fleer Tradition. This is a box we've never opened on the channel. And there are 36 packs with 10 cards per pack. You can see Ken Griffey Jr. is featured front and center on the box. A really nice picture of the kid following through with that iconic swing. Tells us on the front of the box we'll be looking for a piece of tradition with an autograph signature and traditional uh, threads, memorabilia cards, and actual 1934 Gaudi cards could be inserted in this box. I hope we can find one of those. That would be quite a pull. I don't know if they'd give us the odds or not anywhere, but uh, we'll, I guess we'll check the pack. So without further ado, let's get right on into it. John is our sponsor today. John, thank you very much for sponsoring this video. Really appreciate it. Hope we can find you some good stuff tonight. At least maybe one of those big inserts. The big rookie card in this set is Justin Verlander. Also, Prince Fielder has a rookie card in here as well. We'll take a look at the pack wrapper here in a second. All right, so on the front, you've got the hobby designation. Back in 06, Fleer was actually, I guess, purchased and bought out by Upper Deck. See, the Upper Deck Company has their um, company byline there. So it looks like we don't have any odds, but let's just go ahead and get to ripping and check out what we can find today. 36 packs. So the cards off the bat have a very vintage stock design. At least this back one did. I guess the other ones don't. As you can see, this one has that vintage, see that grayish tint to it? All right, so we have Hong Chi Kuo, rookie card leading things off. Cole Hamill's rookie card. Okay, totally forgot he would be in there. I was just focused in on the Verlander. That's a nice one. There's Melvin Mora. We've got Ryan Sheely. That's a name from the past. Khalil Green. Miguel Tejada. Had a great career, albeit probably steroid assisted. Matt Holliday and Ryan Howard is the last one there. The Howard is a vintage card. Not sure if you get one of those in every pack or not. I guess you do because here's another one on the very back. We've got a Matt Kane rookie card, which according to Beckett, that's one of the best cards in the set. That's why you can never trust Beckett. There's a Roy Holiday. He's a Hall of Famer, and this guy will be a Hall of Famer. Adrian Beltre probably has about three or four years before he gets in as you need to be, um, you know, inactive, retired for five years before appearing on the ballot. There's an Yvonne Rodriguez. He's a Hall of Famer. And Dan Ugla, rookie card. Eh, we'll sleeve it. Dan Ugla kind of uh, really struggled at the end of his career. I remember looking at his stats, and he just was hitting like 150, 160 near the end. A Ken Griffey Jr. insert card. That'll be a nice one. Looking forward to checking that one out. There's the machine, Albert Pujols. Back when he was the machine, he was so good. There it is, Grassroots Ken Griffey Jr. insert card. That's a nice looking card right there. Still, uh, I don't know, never really got completely comfortable with seeing Griffey in the Cincinnati Reds uniform. I know he played there for you know a good, good bit of years after jumping ship after, what was it, after 99 or 2000 season to Cincinnati. And uh, just will always remember him as a Mariner. It was really weird seeing him as a White Sox player for that, for that one season in, what was it, 09. Always hate when players that are so iconic leave and go somewhere else. There's a Prince Fielder rookie card. Lastings Millage rookie card. Remember Lastings Millage? War 87 with the Pirates. There's Gary Sheffield. That bat, kind of a little bat, bit out of focus because he waves it back and forth so violently. Johan Santana, quite a good player. Nate McLeod was my former Favorite player there for a little while with the Buccos. Used to love Nate McLeod, center fielder for the Pirates. I remember they traded him away for, who was it? Charlie Morton, I think. And um, might have been like 2005, 2006, somewhere in there. Maybe 2007, I can't remember the exact year, but I remember being devastated. It was probably actually like 2007 or 8, a little bit later than that, because McCutcheon came up and they no longer needed Nate McLeod, who was a darn good player for us. I actually have a game-used autograph Nate McLeod bat somewhere in my, probably out in my garage somewhere. It was a season ticket holder gift. Pirates used to really hook us up back in the day. And uh, they gave everybody a, an all-star game Nate McLeod bat. All right, so let's see. There's Will Nieves' rookie card, Coco Crisp. Levon Hernandez had a nice long career. And Diamond Tribute. Insert card for Hideki Matsui is the last one. 
All right, still looking for one of those 34 Gaudi cards or the Justin Verlander the rookie card. It'd be nice, I guess, to find him on a vintage stock. That's probably the most valuable that you could find. I don't know if there's any parallels in this. I don't think so. John Papelbon, a rookie card. Matt Kemp, rookie card. Hey, that's, we'll sleeve that one up. He, he um, should have been the 2000, or 2011 MVP. A nice Derek Jeter right there. Let's sleeve up Jeter, Ryan Friel. Of course, Ryan Friel had a very tragic ending to his career in life, unfortunately. I believe he suffered from CTE. And uh, unfortunately left behind, I think, three small daughters. There's Chipper Jones. Victor Martinez, there's Richie Sexton, who's like 6'7". J.J. Hardy was a nice player there. He used to terrorize the Pirates for many years in Milwaukee. There's David Ortiz, possible future Hall of Famer. Kendrys Morales, and Jason Kubel is the last one. All right, we're down to the last pack and stack number one. Hope everybody's having a nice Thursday on this episode of Throwback Thursday. John Smoltz right there, Hall of Famer. Andy Pettit. Eligible for the Hall of Fame. I don't know if he's going to get in or not. Randy Johnson, another Hall of Famer in his Yankees uniform. And Upper Deck, collect the most viable rookies. Some sort of uh, promotion for some sort of kit. All right, so let's go ahead and work on the second stack and see what we can find. We're all ready to go after this break of this box for a live stream. A Prince Fielder Vintage Rookie Card. Very nice. You can see it has the black and white photo on those vintage cards. Adam Wainwright rookie card. Okay, so we're finding some of the nice ones. 2006, a pretty good year for some of these older veterans that you guys still see playing in the big leagues. But as I was saying, we've got 100 boxes of Diamond Kings tonight. I'm going to probably start that right after I'm done here. Head upstairs. Everything's all set up. All I have to do is hit that go live button. It'll be a fun one tonight. Hopefully I'm not up till 1 a.m. There's A-Rod. And Pat the Bat Burl is the last one. All right, so nothing crazy. Yet. I don't know if there's a guarantee of a guaranteed autograph, or I think the autos in this are a little sparse, but I don't know if there's a guaranteed relic in here or not. It'd be nice. John Lester rookie card. Nice one right there. That doesn't even look like John Lester that much, does it? Jared Weaver. Maybe, um, I don't know, John Lester's cheeks just filled out a little bit. There's. Ken Griffey Jr., the cover boy of the box. A great-looking card right there. Brandon Watson and Josh Wilson is the last card in whatever pack that is. Probably about the 10th pack of the video. As we get into the next one, let's see what we can find. Hey, we've got John Van Benschoten. Who remembers him? He was a lights-out pitcher in college, so the Pirates drafted him with their first pick. And, of course... They tried to convert him to a pitcher. Um, I don't know why they did that, but you can see it didn't really work out in 2004. And he was out of the big leagues probably not too long after. Chris Shelton. There's Mike Thompson. Trevor Hoffman is a Hall of Famer. And there's good old JVB one more time. Just an awful first-round pick. Does it tell us first round? It doesn't really give us any draft information right there. All right, so John Robert, let's see what we can find with uh, the next one. There's King Felix Hernandez, an early card for him. I think his rookie card is what? Was it 04? Skip Shoemaker. Dan Ugla, rookie card. There's the professor, Greg Maddox. Nice one right there. Ryan Zimmerman, rookie card. He's had a really nice long career. Reggie Sanders. Frankie Liriano. Nice early Francisco Liriano. I'm a big fan of him. We share the same birthday. Dave Ortiz insert card on the back. Let's go into our next pack and see what we can find. We start off with Joey Devine. That's a name that I don't recall. Sean Figgins. Dontrell Willis. David X. Stein. There's Josh Barfield, son of Jesse Barfield. Garrett Atkins. Jose Reyes leading the, laying down a bunt there, leading off. And Ale Soler, blue chip prospect. I don't know. I don't know about that. Uh, never really heard of him before. Probably a lot of you guys haven't either. Let's now move into our next pack. We got a Morgan Ensberg, Michael Barrett. There's Garrett Anderson had a great career. Brandon Webb, former Cy Young Award winner, right there before blowing out his shoulder, and which ultimately led to his career ending. And there it is, the Justin Verlander rookie card, the number one card in the set. Justin Verlander will be a Hall of Famer. So anytime you can track down a 
a rookie of a Hall of Famer, it's always nice. And I haven't really bothered to look into Verlander rookies recently, but um, I don't know if they've been surging as much as other comparative cards. Because um, Verlander's been hurt, and he's not going to pitch again until 2022, and he's getting up there in age. So I don't know. I might have to check the uh, market on those and pick some up because uh, he's going to be in the Hall of Fame. You can... Pretty much guarantee that. There's Joel Zumaya used to throw like 100 miles an hour. Just I don't think he ever knew where it was going. And when he did throw it straight, it was uh, straight as an arrow. And then we get crushed. Didn't really last too long, I don't think. Was he the guy, by the way, that messed up his uh, pitching arm or hand playing Guitar Hero? Was that him, Tigers fans? Let me know. I think it may have been. There's Grassroots A-Rod. And now we have... The halfway point right here, last pack from the top half of the box. There's Jason Michaels, former Pirate right there, Ricky Weeks before the dreadlocks, Jeff Harris. We've got Jim Edmonds, who was always up for getting himself on Sports Center with his uh, diving catches. Sometimes I felt like he did them on purpose. If you ever saw the dude perfect baseball stereotypes, Mr. Highlight Guy or Mr. Top Ten, that was Jim Edmonds. He used to love to make those diving catches. There's Paul Mahollam rookie card, Jason Kubel rookie as well. There's Manny being Manny. He's still around and playing baseball. And we have a Gowdy Greats card, Khalil Green. That's not an original, obviously. We want the 34 original Gowdies. All right, so halfway through the box, we've got a lot of the best rookie cards. Cole Hamels, Ryan Zimmerman, Prince Fielder, Justin Verlander. I don't know if there's too much else to find. We'll see. If we go after the uh, original Gowdy card here. We've got Derek Lee. Starting to see some repeats now. There's Prince Fielder, so we've seen this exact pack before. We'll go through the those ones a little bit quicker. We've got King Felix once again. Greg Maddox once again. There's Zimmerman. We'll sleeve up good old Zim. Clint Barmas on the back, former Bucko right there. Part of the... Uh, you know, 20 years of losing. I forget exactly when Barmas was on our team. Might have been around 2011 or so. All right, we've got a nice vintage stock Prince Fielder, two vintage stock Prince Fielder cards to go along with two regular. So four Prince Fielder rookies so far. Too bad he had to retire. I guess Fielder had some kind of nerve issue going on with his neck. And a nice Justin Verlander second rookie card. So two of his rookies... John, could we find you a third? It's possible. We're, we're getting 360 cards here, 36 times 10. And uh, there's, I think, 200 cards in the set. So a good chance of finding some doubles, and we are seeing that phenomenon right now. But yeah, Justin Ver or not Justin Verlander, but um, we already had this pack already as well. There's Beltre, vintage stock card. I guess Prince Fielder had an, a, a nerve issue with his neck, which could have greatly impacted his you know, life, his well-being, if he had continued and aggravated it any further. So he was advised to retire, and he did so. And interestingly enough, him and his pops, Cecil Fielder, both have the exact same number of career home runs, which I think is pretty cool. Obviously, Prince would have hit some more if he had stayed healthy, but Cecil Fielder would have hit some more if he didn't go to Japan. There's Cole Hamels. All right, next, nothing crazy there. There's Triple Crown Contenders, Mark Teixeira, insert card. Next pack up, let's see what we've got going on in here. Got Hall of Famer Roy Holiday on the back and his um, rotation buddy, A.J. Burnett, right there. There's Holiday once more. Yvonne Rodriguez, I don't think we've, uh, I think we've pretty much covered all of the base cards, it seems like. I think we've hit on all of them, but we'll still do the rest of these packs. Albert Pujols is on the back. Hall of Famer Jim Tomey right there. Carlos Guillen. Matt Caps, a.k.a. the Big Bull Rider. So I guess there are a couple new ones to cover. Matt Caps um, now sits in and does a little bit of commentary for the Bacos. At least I uh, tuned, tuned in and heard Caps earlier this season. I used to like Matt Caps when he was closing games for us. A.J. Przinski. We've got Lastings Millage, Ben Johnson, Johan Santana, and Chris Denorfia, blue chip prospect. He was one that actually did make the big leagues. So I guess it worked out for him, unlike that Abel Soler, whatever his name was. Taylor Buckholes, 
Rookie card on the top. Future Hall of Famer Scott Rowland right there. Josh Willingham as a catcher. He could really slug it. Juan Pierre. Pedro Martinez, Hall of Famer. Brian Anderson. There's Josh Beckett. We've got Bobby Abreu. I don't know. Bobby Abreu might be one of those sneaky guys that gets into the Hall of Fame just because of his uh, advanced analytical stats. We'll see. He might be one of those guys you're like, what? Kind of like a Harold Baines or Ted Simmons. You never know. We've got Connor Jackson. Hanley Ramirez. Good old hand ram. We'll get that one sleeved up. That's a nice one. Got Johnny Damon right there. Jason Bay, former rookie of the year back in 2004 for the Pirates when he hit 26 homers. And John Lester, blue chip prospect. Man, Lester really changed his looks, didn't he? There's John Lester. And we've got six packs left, I think. All right, here we go. John Robert, six more packs. Let's see what we can do for you. There's Aramis Ramirez. Hall of Famer, Vladimir Guerrero, Sr. Tim Hamulak. I don't remember him at all. He looks like, um, that's his rookie card. It looks like he's about 40 years old in that picture. Kind of interesting. He was born in 1976, so he would have been about 30 in that picture. Late bloomer, I guess. Bronson Arroyo with that stiff leg kick. Seeing Kinsler rookie card, another nice one. Kinsler had a good career. Beltron and Sweeney is the last one. I'm kind of losing hope for a relic or a 34 Gaudi card, but um, we'll you know finish it off just in case. You never know. There's Ale Solaire. Finding his blue chip card. Billy Wagner, who I think should be in the Hall of Fame. Todd Helton, you know, he probably is going to get in as well. I don't know about Todd Helton. He was so good with the Rockies, obviously. Coors Field induced stats there, hitting like 40 plus home runs every year. Adam Wayne at rookie card. But once the Hewador came into effect, those numbers really went down. The power numbers, at least. David Wright. Uh, Clinton Barmas once again, Eric Bedard. There's A Rod once more, and the kid is back. Ken Griffey Jr. for a second look, and of course, Bartolo Colon. All right, three packs left before we get on out of here for this episode of Throwback Thursday. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Hope you're having a nice Thursday. It's a busy day on the channel. Just uploaded a video for Bowman Jumbo from 2021. I want to do something old for you guys as well, for those of you who like some of the older stuff since it is a Thursday, and we do Throwback Thursdays on this date. So two videos and a live stream. Three total videos today on the channel. And tomorrow will be busy as well as we are breaking those 2021 Bowman Jumbos. Diamond Kings tonight. tonight. Hope you can join us for it. There's the John Lester rookie card. Jared Weaver. He had a nice career. Kind of a soft tosser, though. I was always, Sometimes I'd watch him be like, how's he getting by with a fastball of like 80 miles an hour? There's... Trevor Hoffman, Hall of Famer, and Triple Crown Contenders, Miguel Cabrera. Very nice one right there. Last pack. Let's see what we've got for John. Thank you, John, very much for sponsoring this video. And thank you to all of you watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Thursday. hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already and hit that thumbs up button as we wrap things up here. And there it is. We have the hit at the very end. Some last pack magic. It is a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. traditional threads uh, game used jersey card right there. Vladimir, did I say junior? I always do that. Vladimir Guerrero Sr. It's the Hall of Famer, the Vladdy Daddy. Vladimir Guerrero Sr. Triple threads game used jersey card. A nice one right there. Very, very nice. Congratulations, John. I didn't think we were going to get it there for a second because I don't know if it said there's a guarantee on the box or not. But a lot of nice rookies in that set, as you have seen. Lots of... Prince Fielders, Justin Verlanders, and uh, the like. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you'll join us tonight for our Diamond Kings live stream of 2021. Got 100 boxes. Uh, lots of great stuff in there. If you love relics and autographs, every box has a relic and an auto, and there's usually some really cool stuff in there. Sometimes they toss in some really old-time players in Diamond Kings breaks of the past. We've found Babe Ruth inserts, uh, actually game used jerseys and Ty Cobb and Hannes Wagner. And we'll see what we can find tonight. So thanks again for watching everybody. Hope you guys have a great rest of your Thursday and I'll see you all tonight or tomorrow. Good night, everybody.